Today we're going to be talking about one of the most like viral TikTok drama stories that's going on at the moment, which to be fair, I feel like is maybe my favorite one to date. And it's kind of being known online as like, what's in the rug yes. is I would say how people are referring to it. And basically long story short, we'll get into like all the details, but if you haven't seen it, it's about this woman who posted a video on her TikTok page where she was talking about how she had gone through some, like she thought that her house was haunted basically. It started all off with like her saying that she had just moved into this new house and she had gone into, she has this like work room where she works every day and she has a laptop, her little work set up. And one morning she went in and her laptop screen was like smashed. There was like things all over her desk, like things that she just would never have moved herself. She closes the door every night so that her like children and like her dogs can't get in. Like it was just all really like freaky, freaky vibes. Mm -hmm. And then pretty soon after that, she ended up digging up a rug in her garden mm. and it kind of spiraled into this massive online TikTok investigation. Like she started off with something like 6,000 6, followers, I think, and now she has like 2.2 million. Mm. And people are just like desperate to know like what is in the rug and like what's going on with this woman's house. I think maybe what's happened is that street in general is just like ookie bookie scary town mm -hmm. and something is going on in that neighborhood. Maybe there's a serial killer that also has a ghost relative and they're like working as like a double team. Is this your theory or? <laughs> what's your theory? So have you ever heard of like, I don't even know where I've seen it. It's probably someone on the internet where if you're gonna kill someone, I also don't know why I've seen this from such a young age. Right. I know it's very young age. Right. So you bury the body. Yeah. Then you obviously put a bit of mud down. Then you put like a dead animal. And right. then you like, because then when people are searching, they'll find the dead dog, for example, and what they'll be like- just give up? Look, this is what I saw on the internet, a young child. <laughs> it's a police department. They're like, we found something dead. Let's just call it quits here, boys. But also I'm just thinking, the rug was buried, like it was quite shallow. Yeah, that's true. It was not that deep. There's this really weird, like, there's so many connections to it yeah. that I'm, part of me's like, they're definitely connected, part of me's like, they have no relation. She herself has kind of like batted away the theory that she's an industry plant, which I did think was actually quite clever because she was saying in a video that like, people were insinuating, oh, maybe they've planted this story on TikTok because it's gonna like be the plot of a film or like the plot of a TV series that's gonna come out. Mm. And so this is, and then they can be like based on the TikTok drama. Of no, but going back to your point about the documentary, what mm. happened to Who the Fuck Did You Marry? That became, it's oh becoming God, a TV yeah, show. Yeah, that's so true, it's so, a show. The industry plan allegations. Maybe it's, maybe T. Sarisa is behind this as well. She's getting her money in. She's like, <laughs> I, I've got one show down, second to go. I would watch it. I would watch a true crime documentary or series by Tisa Risa. Are you joking? Oh yeah, I she's a storyteller. That, that would be so good. <laughs> I think one of the reasons why these TikTok viral series are so loved and so popular, and also kind of people follow them so closely, is because more often than not, it's just really normal people documenting like mm -hmm. real time things that happen in their lives, and it's things that we all would probably do ourselves if we had a platform or if we wanted to like be on TikTok, like. Risa Tisa's one in particular, the Who the Fuck Did I Marry? Mm -hmm. It was so personal and so, and she was so normal yeah. and so real. And just also like the things of like just filming in her car and filming like <laughs> in bed and stuff. Like it, you just feel very connected to that person. And it doesn't, and I think that's one of the things that people love so much about TikTok mm -hmm. is that you do kind of stumble upon these things that you wouldn't see anywhere else. Like you're not gonna see the What's in the Rug series on Instagram or even YouTube, honestly. Like, no, it's not so even YouTube. perfectly suited for TikTok as a platform. And just the crazy <laughs> shit happens. And it's honestly just so entertaining. What's, like, what's so wild? Like, she updated us about this like ghost situation and then really like blase and mentions yeah. the fact that she's digging up for a fence and she's found a rug. And obviously, yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. on TikTok was like, you need to call the police. Like, mm. this is not normal. And it's like, yeah. in a way, it's like a useful tool. This is why I also love it. It's almost like a massive group chat. Like <laughs> yeah. she was like, yeah, so you guys have been telling me that I should probably contact the police. It's like, why that didn't run through your head yourself, <laughs> I don't know, but like, I'm glad that you've listened to the comments. Yeah, it started with like a ghost, then it mm. ended up with, is there a dead body here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there like a full on murder investigation that needs to be uh -huh. uncovered? But yeah. And I mean, obviously she's kind of blown up and her page is now massive and she's been doing tons and tons of TikTok lives, yeah. kind of like updating people and stuff. And interestingly enough, she actually ended up getting hacked, which is kind of crazy because it proves as well how 
obviously we're all tuning in, but there'll be other people that are tuning in and wanting to capitalize off of her newfound success. Always. So she did all of these TikTok lives and ended up like probably making like a decent amount of money from them. Mm. And then I think she said that she was at dinner with her boyfriend or something and literally got an email from TikTok uh, support and within like a few seconds realized that she had lost all of this money and that her account had been hacked. Mm -hmm. And it was like a whole big deal. And it kind of just proves how these people are, it's all well and good like showing your life and stuff. But the second that you reach a certain level of fame or a certain level of kind of publicity, mm -hmm. you're all of a sudden now gonna be victim to like those absolute scammers online or the people who are gonna take advantage of it. It also just further adds to the conspiracy theories because oh my God. who hacked her? It was Casper. <laughs> it was, it the, was ghost. the ghost. It was the ghost. It was the dead neighbor. 